Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make car videos from start to finish without any plugins. It's very basic steps to achieve nice videos for your next Instagram car reels. First, set markers on a music beats. Once you've dropped your clips and song into the After Effects, let's open up beat drops of music by clicking L button twice. Play back the video and set markers on every beat, so you will know where to cut the videos. The first beat was here, I'm going to set a marker there. Now play back video and do the same process, I will skip this part. Second, speed ramps. Once you've finished with markers, let's do a quick speed ramps on every video. Right click on a clip, go to time and select, enable time remapping. Create first keyframe at the very beginning of the video and second one in the end of the video. Move the second keyframe to the moment where the beat drop was. Cut the video what's after the keyframe. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to Graph Editor, right click there and make sure Auto Select Graph Type is selected, then make a smooth curve like in this video. Enable frame blending on a clip, click there twice until you see an arrow. Smooth speed ramp is ready. Do the same to all of your videos, I will skip this part as well. Third, zoom transition. As you have finished with speed ramps, let's make some basic effects you can use in your videos. Duplicate the video and rename it, car only. Right click on it and pre-compose the video. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the clip and then right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame. We have now a still image of the video. Move this layer to the moment from where you want to start zooming transition. Cut it at the moment where the actual video starts. Now select Roto Brush Tool and double click on Car Only Layer, and make a nice selection of the car to isolate it. Once you've finished selecting, click on Freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to Composition. Now we have a clean car only layer and an actual video of the car. Go to the end of the car only layer and press S button on your keyboard, click on Scale Stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to beginning of the layer and change scale to 0%. If you play back the video you will see a weird zooming transition, let's fix this, enable motion blur on that layer. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor, right click and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth speed curve like mine or play around until you will be happy. Zooming transition is ready, let's jump to another effect. Fourth, warp bubble, duplicate the video. Right click on it and select Precompose. Let's rename it, Car Only. Now grab Roto Brush Tool and let's make a selection of the car again. Once you've finished selecting, press on space bar to play back the video and check if selection is following to the car. In my case the selection is perfectly following the car. Since I don't need to correct anything I will press on Freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to Composition. Duplicate car only layer and select the bottom one, add a turbulent displace effect on it. Change displacement to, turbulent smoother. Change amount around 120. Set size around 40. Press P on your keyboard and move it up a bit so we can see what we are creating. Set complexity around 2. Now hold Alt button and click on Evolution Stopwatch icon, now type here, time 250. This will animate Warp Bubble effect. Now let's make Warp Bubble Revealing effect. Press P on your keyboard. Go a few frames forward and click on Position Stopwatch icon to create a keyframe there. Move position higher or lower if you want, I will leave mine as it is now. Now go to very beginning of this layer, then right click on position and select, reset. This will bring position back to normal. If you play back the video you will see Warp Bubble starts revealing. Now let's make Warp Bubble disclose in the end of the video. Copy second keyframe and paste it near to the end. Then copy the first keyframe and paste it to the very end of the layer. Let's smooth out the motion. Select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now go to Graph Editor and make a smooth curve, you can copy mine or play around until it makes you happy. Cool, let's jump to another effect. Fifth, Logo Flip. Rename your video to Original and then duplicate it twice and let's rename them too. First will be, Animation. Second will be, Clean. Toggle off Original and Animation layers. 
Go forward to the moment where you want to stop logo flipping and cut clean layer at that time. Now select a pen tool and mask out a car logo. Masking shouldn't be perfect, feel free to mask out it like this, we need that mask to remove it from the car. Press M on your keyboard, then right click on a mask and select, track mask. Now go to tracker and track the mask. As tracking has finished, change mask mode to subtract. Then go to window and enable, content aware fill. Go to aware fill tab, copy my settings and click on, generate fill layer. Wait for the magic, and boom, logo has gone. Select created fill layer and cut it, match its length to clean layer. Move fill layer below the animation. Toggle on animation and original layers now. Cut the animation layer as well. Now we will need to mask out the logo perfectly. You can use After Effects masking tools or use Mocha AE. It's the only one plugin in this video I'm using. Mocha is free, if you mask too much, bro, you have to get Mocha AE right now. In Mocha let's select Ellipse tool and make a perfect selection of the logo. Once you've finished selecting click on track button. As tracking has finished, save Mocha AE and close the window. Now expand matte and click on, create AE masks. Now select anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the center of the logo. Now enable 3D on animation layer and open transform. At the beginning of animation layer let's create keyframes for, Y rotation, scale and position. Now press U on your keyboard to see only created keyframes. Go a few frames forward and change position. Change Y rotation to 1. You can scale it a bit too but I will leave it like this. Go to very end of the animation layer and select all created stopwatch icons, right click and select reset. This will bring everything to normal position. Select second keyframes, copy them and paste near to the end. Enable motion blur on animation layer. Let's smooth the motion by selecting all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard then go to graph editor and make a curve like mine. Logo flip is ready, let's jump to another effect. Sixth, slam effect. I will make this BMW's headlight slam effect, you can do to another car part or even do on a whole car. Duplicate the layer, right click on it and pre-compose it, name it, headlight slam. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the video and right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame. Now go backward from where you want to start slam effect and move that layer at that moment. Cut it where the actual video starts. So we have a still image and then video goes normally. Let's grab a pen tool and mask out the headlight. Press P on your keyboard and go to very end of headlight layer. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go to very beginning of the layer and change position like this. Enable motion blur on headlight layer. Let's smooth the motion by selecting both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Slam effect is ready. Let's jump to another effect. Seventh, stabilize motion. This one is my favorite, let's make this headlight stay in the center, I suggest you to make it to all of your clips to make it look more amazing. First of all pre-compose the layer then go to tracker tab and click on, stabilize motion. Zoom into the part you are going to stabilize, then find a nice contrasted spot there and move that box there. Make bigger box even more bigger, but not too much. Now we have to track the motion, to do so, you have two options, automatic analyzing and manual. Since automatic sometimes not analyzes well, I prefer doing it manually. If the box moves from the spot, stop there and correct it then track that forward again. Once you have finished tracking, click on edit target and click on OK. Now click on apply and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y then click on OK. Headlight is now centered but here is one problem with black edges, to solve this, simply press on S button and scale the video a bit. Also change position of the video, so the headlight should be in the center.
Another solution is to use motion tile and create a mirror-like edges, but if you shoot in 4K, scaling is not a big problem. Eighth, car sliding. Duplicate the video, right-click and select Precompose, name it to Sliding. Now select Roto Brush Tool and double-click on Sliding Layer. Make a nice selection of the car. Once you have finished selecting, press space bar and check if selection is following the car. If you noticed selection has jumped, stop at that time, correct the selection and press space again. As you finish selecting and correcting, click on freeze button to isolate the car. As it finished freezing, go back to composition. Duplicate sliding layer, select the bottom one and add offset effect to it. At the very beginning of the video click on shift center to stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go a few frames forward and change shift center to, up or down or left or right. It's up to you, I will make my sliding go down. Add as much slides as you will enjoy. Press U on your keyboard to see keyframes, check the slide, if it seems to slow or not enough add more. And make sure to match offset to the car position. Once you are happy with it, move the second keyframe to the end of the video. Now select both keyframes and press on F9. Go to graph editor and make a curve like this. Add a CC force motion blur in the end, sliding effect is ready. And the last step for happiness, add motion blur on all videos. Select the video and add CC force motion blur on it. Change blur sample to 10. Copy CC force motion blur and let's paste to all videos. But before adding motion blur, let's pre-compose videos on which you have made duplicates. Pre-compose into one layer and then add CC force motion blur. Do the same to all of your duplicated layers. This was basic steps of how to edit car videos from the start to finish. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.